Hello YouTube land people. This is just a garden chicken coop update. What else can I say? I don't know anymore. Anything. I'm just trying to restore my gut health. Is anyone else having this problem for no apparent reason? Hmm. Let me think. Spike protein anyone? No, I haven't had the injection, but you know it's out there. Anyway, this is from my garden. And so is this one. And yeah, I have more of these than I know what to do with. Well, in case, unless you go over to OnlyFans, but however, you're not really supposed to, not really allowed to use stuff like this you, because they consider it as an as an, another thing, as like as, as another person, and they might want like a, a release or something. I mean, I had several, believe it or not, I had several um, notifications. I didn't even know they were there that um, I violated their policy because I had someone else in my video. I never had anyone else in my video. The only thing I've ever had in my video, maybe a chicken do, dancing around, maybe a, a dildo, uh, maybe a sex toy. And yeah, I guess they consider that another person. Who knew? I didn't know sex toys were other people. No one told me that, you know. Or maybe back in 2020, they were just trying to get, a, get rid of sexual content and they just use that for our excuses, by the way. I have cameras on me, but the, but see, my neighbor, she's like obsessed with me, and this has been going on ever since I moved here. They just got a whole lot worse, but as you can see, as you can see, hopefully she can't see, hopefully it's not thermal in imagery, but I wouldn't be surprised if she's listening. She's a obsessed bitch cunt. <sighs> okay, back to the garden video. I just have to let you know what's going on. I mean, she could be watching these videos for all I know. I mean, she's that obsessed with me. By the way, when I flip her camera off, she calls me. Yeah, she calls me. She doesn't say who she is, but I know she calls me when I flip the camera off. Yeah, that happened. I can't make this shit up. You know, why do I always get the nut job neighbors? Like, it happened in Hawaii to me, too, by the way. Here's my garden. Beautiful, beautiful food growing everywhere. We got, we got, I forget what this, what is this? What is that? Is that a squash? Some kind of squash? I don't remember what I threw out here. But anyway, I know this is a cucumber, but it's growing in a pot. And I don't like growing in pots because, I don't know, they just don't grow as good. This is like a little cucumber. Triscuits over there. And I mean, I've just got food growing everywhere. I got like all these, all these yellow squash. I love yellow squash, but if you can see in there I got all kinds of yellow squash and the thing about squashes that I learned is that you want to pick them before they get super super large like before they start making seed because from what I've learned is you don't pick them and you let something go to seed they stop producing because they figure they they've done their their thing right their thing is to produce seed and then once they produce seed they stop producing so the key with the squashes I never even knew this is that you want to keep picking them before they get too big but see these right here they still have a few days left to go like this guy it's so hard to see in here if you could see can you yeah like that one has a few days to go there's tons of those but you know i have more than i can even deal with but anyway that's that i got more cucumbers growing over there more tarps blocking and i got i still got to do more work i mean this non-stop around here because you know you can never have too much privacy I mean, privacy costs money, right? It's not supposed to, but I guess it does. You know, like, you want privacy? Oh, that'll cost you, you know, cost you quite a lot. By the way, if you like what you see and you want to see all me, join my OnlyFans. It'll help me a lot. I need the money. And there's Doodles and Lily. And guess what I just found out? The sparrows, that is those little brown invasive species of birds that likes to hang out at McDonald's like no other bird species does. Well, I guess pigeons do too, but you know, they're pigeons. Um, yeah, those little brown birds, they have been wreaking havoc on my hens and I never even knew it until I realized every time I'd put food out here for them, it was gone, like in an instant, like they had no food. Like I had to just spend 40 bucks on a huge bag of food and that food that I bought before should have lasted another two more months. They sh a big bag, like a $40 bag of food should last at least four months for my three hens. Was it three or four hens? I lost count because uh, Taffy has been brood brood brooding on her nest for the past uh, three weeks now. And it's almost like I forget she's here. But yeah, this is what I had to do. Um, 
I had to make an uh, enclosure for them with netting, and this is where they eat. I don't put their food out here anymore. They mostly stay in here now, and they're happy in here. They like it better, and they're not so um, pecky. Like, they don't peck on each other. They don't pick on each other nearly as much. Like, before, almost every night, uh, Lily and, and Triscuit would fight on the perch. They don't fight no more. Now they're best friends since I got all this bird netting. Oh, I just hope it lasts for a, a long, long time. But, you know, I have to do all these zip ties everywhere. I had to use my staple gun everywhere. Every little crack, I had to put, you know, logs and rocks down here. Because any little crack, like, like these birds are like rodents, okay? They're like mice. They're so small. And they'll just go and they'll hop around along the edges. And they'll find the smallest little hole crack and they'll go through it. And then they'll come in there. And then once one's in here, two and the three and the pretty soon you have hundreds and eating all your food. So... So far so good. I had to seal up a few little cracks like they were coming under, they were hopping under here and I can't barely open it the way it is. I think I'm going to have to not use this gate because it, it's the way it is now. I can't even hardly use it but I had to put that there. This one's a little more usable but again I had to put tons of cement here and, and bricks here and I had to do all this here all this all that all this all that all this i mean i've been out here working and working and working like crazy because i can't have these birds all these sparrows the neighborhood eating all my chicken food it's costing me a fortune you know a large large bag of well, our bag of food should last at least four months okay so and i i i made this gate i made this gate to go into the patio and this is how I open it, yeah, I know it's ridiculous, but hey, what can I do? Um, it works, okay? It, it fucking works. So that's that, and then to close it, I just, um, I just go like, just go like, just go like, oh, come on, it worked before. Ah, uh, just, damn it. Okay, to close it, come on, it worked when I wasn't on camera, close. Well, it's closed enough, I guess. No, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to hold this over. Oh, I know how. It has to do like that. That's how you close it. Okay, there you go. That's how you close it. And I got, I saved this. Um, came with my new, when I had my new French doors installed. This came in the packaging, and I'm so glad I saved these. It's perfect to, clo to hold it, sh to close it more shut. But you see, I had to do all this like bricks there and I had to put all this up I had to do all this by myself can you imagine like I had to do all this by myself I did all this by myself my next project I'm gonna put an enclosure a screen enclosure here so I can sit out here have a nice maybe a bed or a futon and maybe in the future I might even like have a sink here and you know, have it real nice little outdoor outdoor living um outdoor, I don't know what you would call it, kind of sl living slash, um, what would you say, visitor, vi yeah, uh, outdoor visitor center, you know, like um, petting zoo, you know, maybe not petting them, but you know, yeah, I mean, I don't mind being petted, I mean, it's nice to be petted once in a while, by the way, if you like what you see and you want to see all of me, join my OnlyFans, please. I'm being spied on. Take care. Bye.